second week for today. The Olivia Campbell College Olivia Thunders is going up against Dallas of the University of Pennsylvania's Patriots. And now we're going to see the suffers of those teams, of course, from the Olivia Campbell College Olivia Thunders. So I'm going to score four more of our nine for Sean Conico. Should be going to the ten and now at center of the one one, Joshua Bonuelo. Power forward of the one three, Jennifer Tolko. And at point guard number 29, Jeffrey Pichiros. And coach of the back players is Anthony Cool. And now let us welcome to the starting five of the Dallas University of Pennsylvania's Patriots. And shooting guards are point guard number five, Roberto Parados. Small forward number six, Paul Santos. Power forward number 13, Luis Montez. And shooting guard number 22, St. Frank Gemayo. And at center number 23, James Fura. Head coach of the Patriots is Steve Reyes Jr. Our reference for the team on a sign of the team is Dick Sumo-Hunters and Joe And there you have it, the uh, starting fives call to the floor. Here at the Pablo R. Olivares Coliseum in uh, Palanaca City, Andrew Servino, joined by Ray Hoble. Live at courtside to bring the action of the 29th National Capital Region Athletic Association. This is action in the uh, seniors division. And we are about to uh, tip it off. Ray, this is, of course, the Dust Malinas Derby. Yeah. The Battle of the Neighbors. And uh, definitely it's going to be an interesting affair with LaSalle. I think it's still searching for a victory here. And uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College were able to uh, crack their way to the win column. That's right. Well, the, uh, uh, the only win so far of the Vanguard at the expense of uh, Lyceum of the Philippines uh, Laguna. Oh, and, and this a... early we have somebody hurt. Who's this? This is uh, let me see. Oh, this is uh, oh, De Los Santos. Eh? Oh, De Los Santos are uh, getting hit early, but he's okay. He, he's a tough customer, Anthony. Yes. And that's uh, the way the the way I see uh, De Los Santos uh, reminds me so much of uh, another well-built player. Uh, who played in the, uh, the uh, NCAA uh, a few years ago. Meanwhile, the Los Angeles, see, no effect. No effect whatsoever. But uh, we can say that uh, uh, De Los Santos has plasters on uh, her shoulders, possibly uh, because of uh, some pain. But you know, Trey, look, I wa I've tried that. It works. Uh huh. It works. <laughs> it uh, helps you. It's different from salompas. Oh yeah. Meanwhile, uh, De Quiroz. Oh. oh uh, nobody marked the uplo. Everybody was uh, focusing attention on the ball carrier. Let's see now. Montes will try to break the deadlock. They give it back to Montes at the corner. Montes. Inside, De Los Santos against three defenders. Oh, and uh, it's going to be an error on the side of De Los yes, Santos. Yes, uh, De Los Santos took too much time in spotting the open teammate. It is because he had having uh, he was having a difficulty extricating from the triple team defense. Wow, I mean this early, it means that he has earned the respect mm -hmm. of the opposition. Meanwhile, Kalipko will dance to the basket. Instead, he will give it inside. The Uplo. The, yeah, the Uplo, yeah. a wide-bodied young man. Barwelo. Shot clock down to five seconds. The Kilos has to shoot. They do. No. Oh, the Uplo. Nobody backs him out. He was so surprised he was open. And now it's with LaSalle. Montes gets control. Montes will challenge the defense. Again, he draws the double team. Very good defense early huh, by yeah. EAC. The, the bigger EAC uh, team packing the inside. Meanwhile, Montes 
So again, uh, this is going to be a common refrain uh, so far uh, for EAC. Who, by the way, uh, we see Coach Ashley Gulo back on the bench. Of course, he did not coach in their last game. He uh, gave the coaching chores to his assistant, Coach RJ Escobal. But now Coach Ashley Gulo is back. And this early, Coach Gulo will bring in a substitution. And, so, the, and so far, Anthony, uh, the size has been overwhelming oh, for yes. uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. I mean, just... Look at them line up against each other for the opening jump. You can see the big disparity. Barbuelo and then Dauplo and then Calipico is also a uh, yes, a bigger a bigger player for a wingman. Meanwhile, Barbuelo will sit down, and now uh, the regular starting center J.M. Tubio mm -hmm. is now on the floor. Also a big guy. Yes, and there's more. Wait, there's more. Uh -huh. There's more waiting on the bench. To be inserted later on. Meanwhile, they bounce it to Vashon Kalipko for three. No. And battle for it. Active hands. It goes to De Quiroz. Now De Quiroz. He whips it to a teammate. Long bomb. Yes. Three. And Adyaw is a known scorer. Yeah, Adyaw has been playing so well the past few games for his team. Especially in that win against Lyceum. Okay, Calagos. Sees an opening. Oh. Calagos with oh. the scoop. Breaking the defense there was Calagos seeing a slight opening and driving strong to the basket. So we, this is a three-point uh, play opportunity for Calagos. And for the end time way, we will be saying this. Calagos needs to be on the floor. He needs to stay away from foul trouble for uh, if LaSalle wants to go far. It, not just in this game, but maybe the entire NCRA season 29. Calagos so valuable for this team. Just fouled out in uh, the previous game. So another chance here. They bounce it inside. Mm -hmm. De Los Santos finds the open. Puda, yes! Do, do you see some similarities on uh, De Los Santos and uh, John Dan Salvador? Maybe, but of course, uh, you know... Uh, well, uh, De Los Santos is a shade shorter. And uh, John Dan is bulkier, right? Uh, yes. But of course, uh, they, they both play for a La Salle school. And uh, they are uh, similarly undersized big men. Mm -hmm. Puda. Mm -hmm. Met by uh, Tubio. They pop out. Calagos jumper. Nice form. Yeah. Yes. In rhythm was Calagos for that jumper. Quickly now, oh, in retaliation. Nice, oh, yes! That was a nice dish by Adiao. Waiting for uh, De Los Santos to commit to him before dropping it off at the last minute. And they reward the big man for spitting down the floor. Meanwhile, La Salle, what will they oh. do? No, it's with Puda. Puda sees a fix. Yes! That was a nice up and under move by Puda. Shaking off his defender. All right, what will AC do? They give it to De Quiroz. De Quiroz has retained Mo. his starting uh, point guard spot. Uh, today we will see JR Illustrissimo come off the bench. Meanwhile, Calipco, shot clock winding down to five seconds. Ball is too far. Calipco has to inch closer. Yeah. And he gets the lucky bounce, Ray. And that is uh, what you call composure. Not panicking at yes. the last moment. Calipco with a jumper. Calagos now bounce pass to De Los Santos. De Los Santos again draws the defense, uh -huh. but this time he makes the defense pay. So active on the offensive end is De Los Santos. Okay, Calipco now. And look Play the role of point forward, huh? Tubio. P Puda has been uh, bothering uh, Tubio. Again, Tubio! Oh. Everything but the shot, but Tubio gets his own yeah. miss. Ray, that is a good example of moving without the ball for Tubio. Yeah, and Tubio, Tubio so active on that play, driving and then picking up his own miss for a bucket. Here's a chance now for EAC to no go ahead. There. No. Oh, Tubio, out of nowhere, snaring that rebound from three uh, LaSalle players. Okay, quickly now, LaSalle Montes. No, but De Los Santos is there. He's hammered. He will shoot free throws. And so far, so good for De Los Santos. Practically doing everything 
rebounding, defending, and then uh, scoring when uh, opportunity comes. Of course, uh, if you're join if you're joining us only now, uh, we'd like to share with you the result of our previous game, our opening game for today, the uh, best league college of the Philippines, Lady Kalasak, with a very good uh, 63-48 debut win over the AAC Cavite Lady Vanguard. Yeah. So hopefully, Ray, the uh, Vanguard will try to make up for the loss of their uh, female counterparts today. And the uh, best link college was so impressive in that uh, yes. debut game. 23 points apiece no, from uh, the Lundon and uh, Camille Salas. But uh, the interesting stats line there was the 11 rebounds and the 7 steals by Salas. Yes, that's why she was chosen as our best player. And without a doubt. But then again, good numbers as well uh, from uh, the Lundon. Uh, 23 points and... Uh, 10 rebounds in 29 minutes only because he got hurt. Uh, Meanwhile, Tubio... And uh, Tubio is making a living inside uh, Anthony. That's He's, right. And don't look now. We are tied at 13 all. Uh, we're treated here to an exciting ball game. So this is uh, definitely a rivalry brewing. Meanwhile, Calago spotted there by De Los Santos. Lead now back with the Patriots. And a steal by Lasal. And ahead okay, of Calagos. the pass was Calagos. Finishing off the break. And a nice de uh, outlet pass there by De Los Santos. Oh, Puda completing the steal. De Los Santos now will uh, give it to Trinidad. Montez, success! Yeah. And this is the biggest lead so far by Lasal. That's right. So after the score was tied, a 7 to nothing run now by LaSalle to counter. Illustrable, by the way, is in the game for the first time. Result tie. Oh, good job, pass. Just a breakdown on defense there for LaSalle. Uh, and that's uh, the price you have to pay when you are employing a pressure defense. Okay, Calagos now to Trinidad. Buda finds the Los Santos. Calagos. Will attack, and he has clipped on the way to the basket. To the team's credit, both teams, Emilio Aguinaldo College and Lasal, these teams have been playing well in the past few games. So this yes. is because uh, they're starting to get the feel of uh, the NCRA action back after three years of absence, of course. Yes. So at the line, Rogelio Calagos. First one on the way, yes. And so far, at least in the first period, he has stayed away from Paul Torres. Oh yeah, huh? no, no fouls yet uh, for Rogelio. <laughs> Instead, he's the one being fouled. So two for two for Calagos. And now look at that, uh, Lasal apply, applying the press at the backcourt. And Puda has been uh, doing an excellent job as well for a big man. And uh, Illustrissimo draws a foul from Montes. So of course, uh, we remember uh, J.R. Illustrissimo, the best player yeah. in their win over Lyceum. He was just, uh, he has just checked in a few minutes ago, right? Yes. You know, so Coach Ashley, meanwhile, Dauplo. Yeah, Dauplo with the second hit. And this guy has been uh, also raising his uh, game uh, a notch higher here. The Uplo. Okay, De Los Santos finds Montes. Montes against the defense. Oh. Montes short. But look at Puda battling right, for but, but it. Montes keeping the ball alive. And a counter still there, there by uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. Okay, resulting to a fast break by That's Illustrissimo. Right. Very unselfish pass by Bumugum to the uh, trailing Illustrissimo. <laughs> okay, Trinidad will bring the ball down. Met by the defense. Trinidad will shoot short and ball will go out in favor of the white shirts of EAC. Okay, well, so Nable will check in. So uh, not exactly as tall as uh, as uh, Barwello. But this guy, Razonable, has been playing the role as uh, the front court uh, starter. <laughs> Meanwhile, another breakaway by Lustissimo. And on that note, Coach Reyes 
Their lead is down to one. He will call a timeout. Stay with us for more of your NCRA Season 29. And of course, Molten is the official basketball of the NCRA Season 29. Thank you very much, Molten, for supporting the NCRA. So, Ray, we're talking about the uh, substitution patterns of both coaches. Uh, that, was, that has been a factor in uh, this uh, late surge by EAC. But not for La Salle, uh, which has a breakdown at the last minute in the previous play when Razonable and Vesagas, Vesagas came in. There was a miscommunication on the defense. Oh, reverse does not work for Trinidad, and it will go the way of EAC. So chance here again for EAC to grab the lead. And look at that, uh, two views of full head taller than Razonable. Mm -hmm. Only in the build that uh, they are uh, can be considered as a, a good match. Okay, this will tie. Being hounded by Calagos. This will tie. Will explode. And Calagos did a great job shutting him down. That's right. Now, Besagas. Yes. Oh, Besagas challenging the defense of Tubio. Okay. Now, up to three is the lead of La Salle over EAC. Illustrissimo. Okay. He gives the, the offense a different look with his side. And he is fouled on the way to the hoop. The foul is against, let's see, who? I think it's going to be on Vesagas. Yes, it's on Vesagas. You are right, Ray. So it'll mean free throw time for JR Illustrissimo. So here's the other, another big man coming in for Coach Gulo. This is uh, Tan. Yeah, it's another big guy. And who or, can run, huh? Uh-huh. He can run the floor. That is... Uh, So, uh, Illustrissimo completes the free throw. And uh, only two points separating these uh, two schools. I say, no, they, aside from that, I said this before, they are walking distance from each other. They are on the same road. And that's the reason why they're not uh, far from each other as far as this game is concerned. Yes. Again, uh, they say, love your neighbor, but maybe we can uh, dispense with that for about 40 minutes of basketball. Yeah. And for uh, a while, uh, they can be rivals on the court. Pizzo's now here for La Salle. First one is good. And that creates some uh, breathing space again. Lead up to two, 25-23. Make that 26-23 with under a minute left in the first quarter. You can say, Ray, this is a very entertaining scoring pace we have here. Both teams on track to hit 100. And, and a good substitution there by uh, Coach Tito replacing uh, Calagos at this time. That's right. Now they need to pace Calagos. Illustrissimo, strong move. Too strong for his own good. All right, Trinidad will sail in for two points. <laughs> And now look at that, Lasala playing the press. But this one thing, Ray, you know, when, when a player gets tired, the tendency is for him to slack on defense. And of course. He, may, he may be forced to foul with his hands. Mm -hmm. you know, play defense with his hands, so it will mean fouls. So it's a good thing to pace uh, Calagos. And a steal there by Lasal. That's In right. The last Lasal. nine seconds of the period. Last shot oh. time here, no. And there's just going to be a loose ball foul by Tan. <laughs> wow, lucky break here for Lasal. And uh, with that, La Salle will be given a chance to map up a play in the last 5.5 seconds of the first period. Are they in the penalty? No, not yet. Oh, oh, oh it's going to be uh, not, EAC ball. So it's not going to be a foul, but it's a foul instead on La Salle's player. Okay, last shot team and Illustrissimo is hacked on the way to the basket. And Razonable was pointed by the referee as uh, the guilty party. So look at this, huh? La Salle 
with 28 points, EAC with 23 points. So I guess that for the moment, well, these teams have set, have set aside the defense. <laughs> They'll make that 24 now for EAC. And, and, and so far, Anthony, look at the numbers for both teams. Yes, please. La Salda's Marina, 64% from the field, 11 what? of 18. And, uh, Six, again, Emil what, 64? Yeah. Whoa. And, uh, and uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College, 52%. Wow. You know, those are really great numbers, and we'll talk more about that after this break. Stay with us for more action here in NCRA Season 29, second quarter coming up. And welcome back, basketball fans. So just in time to join us for the start of the second quarter of this very, uh, you can say, high-scoring game yeah. between uh, Las Aldas Marinas and Emilio Guinaldo Cavite at the Sevilla with Ray Hoble. Of course, Ray, our score is, again, 28-24 to 24 after only 10 minutes. How come the score is this high? Well, well, it is because of the fantastic shooting of both squads. And Besagas adding to that with a yes, three-point shot as we speak. <laughs> With uh, Rogelio Calagos leading the way with 10 points for uh -huh. La Sal. Wow. And uh, look at the percentage now. 61% in the first period for uh, La Sal das Marinas. 11 of 18. 52% uh, for Emilio Aguinaldo College. Well, I can say, Ray, uh, will you agree with me that uh, both these schools, were, they were choosing their shots very well in that uh, first quarter. Yeah. Oh, I in the sky! La Sala has been shooting well from the outside, but on the other hand, Emilio Aguinaldo College going to its bread and butter, which is the inside game. And again, no doubt, oops, oh, a sportsman like foul. Yeah, I think it's going to be called on Reyes, and the referee there was spot on on that play. Of course, our referees are under the supervision of our commissioner, Segundo Bong de la Cruz, who is uh, very hardworking as we speak. He's writing something. I don't know what it is. Probably a report or a, or a memo. Okay, yes, that confirms it. So Reyes. So Reyes, uh, first in the game, uh, quickly slapped an unsportsman like foul. <laughs> oh, Illustrissimo unable to capitalize on that uh, shot but of course after this uh, Ray, like what our uh, venue announcer said uh, ball will stay with the uh, vanguard okay one of two for JR and uh, coach Ashley signaling for a line formation coming up on a sideline throw in okay bungubung We'll uh, start the play. Fights Illustrissimo. Open is Katsau. No. Oh, good rebound. It is so hard to box out somebody as huge as Tan. Yeah, Tan has been uh, creating or uh, eating a lot of space inside. C-pointer does not cooperate. Here's a chance now for EAC to either tie or go ahead. Illustrissimo will hesitate a bit, changes his mind. Shot clock winding down. And they attack! Wow, boom, boom, no! Boom. Wow. Quickly now, Arcangel. He will wait for his teammates to take their positions. We haven't seen Calagos back in the game yet, Anthony. Well, so far, Arcangel has done a good job yeah. of uh, manning the point. With, uh, and we have a whistle. What gives here? Oh, a hack. First, it's uh, the first foul on Sean Katsau. Of course, he's very easy to spot. Wearing those neon uh, orange. Is that orange or pink? Hot pink. Hot pink <laughs> shoes. Magenta. <laughs> he, he, well, it's, I, no, magenta's a bit darker, eh? But uh, anyway. Uh, oh! Pesagas! 
doing it from inside and out at this time around, slashing his way to the basket and uh, picking up a foul in the process. Okay, potential uh, bonus here for uh, Vesagas. And we were talking about this man a while ago. Kalagos now is back in the game. So, so you mentioned earlier that uh, Rogelio had 10 points in that first quarter. So yeah. that means uh, he's doing more than one point a minute because he did not play the entire quarter. He rested <laughs> quite a bit. Yeah. Now he's on so, pace to score what? Over 50 points? He's uh, so efficient uh, for this squad. Three bomb on the way by Katsao. No. Russell Nable winning it. Yeah, so one of the rare times that we see Lasal. Uh, winning the offensive board, uh, the the rebound. Actually, it's only now I realize that Reyes is uh, quite a tall player. Huh? Meanwhile, they give it to Reyes. Reyes hemmed in by the defense, and, but uh, Reyes using his legs to his advantage. And one of the rare times that we see uh, Lasal uh, scoring inside. Oh, they drop it to Tan, and Tan with a soft touch. Did Reyes play in the previous games? I, I cannot remember because, you know, they, they gave more time to uh, Puda and uh, Rasonable at the slot. All right, Arcangel. So Arcangel and Calagos are on the floor at the same time. I guess Coach Reyes is pleased with the show of Arcangel so far. Meanwhile, Razonable gets it. Razonable wanted to give to Reyes. Oh. Reyes is too deep. But recovered by Rogelio. No. And all those hands swinging left and right. There's a foul. Oh, yeah. oh that is the second foul of Calagos, Ray. You have to watch it, Calagos. That is a silly foul uh, to give, Anthony. There's no chance for him. Okay, EAC. They are trailing by five. On that good response by Lasal. Katsao all day. No. And well, ball trap. It's one by Arcangel. Arcangel. Oh! Arcangel, that is a very clear foul by Illustrissimo. Stopping the fast break opportunity for Lasal. Meanwhile, uh, players will return here for Coach Ashley Gulo. We got the likes of. Uh, Boshan, Kalipko, but so, and Adyao returning. But so far, Anthony, that guy, Reyes, that we, we are mentioning a while ago, has been practically holding his own. Uh, yes. Because uh, probably the more experienced counterparts from uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. Yes, because, you know, the likes of Barruelo, Tubio, no, they, they have experience. So especially uh, Barruelo, no, coming from the EAC Junior Vanguard. Meanwhile, Kalipko grabs the rebound. Another chance here now for EAC. Illustrissimo. Illustrissimo. Hand, last second handoff. Wow. And Barruelo does not disappoint his teammate. Yeah, and a, a nice finish there by Barruelo. Patiently waiting for the contact. And before putting the ball in. So yeah. now was a chance for a three-point play opportunity. Of course, uh, Illustrissimo played a big part in that play. And I can say, you know, after we gave that best player award to Illustrissimo, I mean, his game has really changed. I mean, he, that has given him a big dose of confidence. Mm -hmm. And so far, he's uh, been involving his teammates more. Okay, Masanable finds Calagos, who is play oh, Besagas, rather. Calagos. Oh, this is... Uh, this is Morenos. Morenos. Looks like they have decided to put, put out Calagos. Yes, uh, Coach Tito Reyes does not want to take any chances. So he, has, uh, he is now uh, resting. Rogelio Calagos. But so far, uh, La Sala has been uh, doing an excellent job. Playing yes. stretches even without Calagos. And as you speak, Ray, Pesagas. Hitting a jumper from the side, and that uh, gives uh, Coach uh, Asti Gulo the cue to press the timeout button. That's our score, 38 34. We'll be back for the remainder of this second quarter. Stay with us, please.
And of course, looking at those uh, that graphic you saw earlier, yes, uh, LaSalle right now, Ray, 0-2 to begin the uh, season, EAC 1-2. Of course, they lost their first game, then they won over uh, Lyceum of Laguna, and they uh, lost their uh, last outing. Meanwhile, LaSalle still in search of their first win, and uh, well... And they pl- they've been playing so well in this game, Anthony. Yes, uh, this is a very different LaSalle that we're seeing uh, in comparison to the LaSalle that uh, arrived for their first two games, which both ended in losses. Meanwhile, long bomb, and, yes! Uh, Atiao <laughs> making pay on that 1-2-2. One, two, two. Zone defense uh, employed by uh, LaSalle. Instant impact by Adyao. And uh, here's a, uh, again, here's that big man Reyes trying to snare that offensive rebound but couldn't handle it. Meanwhile, Tan will return to replace the Uplo. So you can say like for like. Mm-hmm. Same body type, almost the same height. Okay, Kalipko was a clear out. He will look to for Illustrissimo. Cross court pass. Nice form. Oh, everything but the shot. Ball tap. It's won by LaSalle. Quickly now. Moreno. LaSalle on the attack. Morenos. No. And nobody there for the trail job. Illustrissimo whips a pass to Calipco. Oh. Hey. You know what? Wow. We heard we heard the contact all the way here at the broadcast booth. We heard the contact, flesh against flesh. Wow. That was a nice, a three-point shot by Kalipko. Able to knock it down and, and, and drawing a foul in the process. So this is a four, potential four-point play. Yes, but Coach, and, and but the, Coach Tito was claiming uh, that Kalipko was able to kick his way when he get off that shot. Okay, now Vashon unsuccessful with the bonus shot. But then again, the important thing about that last shot play, EAC is now leading 40 to 38. Mm-hmm. Oh, this time uh, it's the turn of LaSalle to be fouled while shooting. And De Los Santos will have a chance to level the score with two free throws here. Yes, he can tie the game from the stripe with under a little under four minutes left. So, Ray, uh, after that, uh, you can say, torrid scoring pace in the first quarter, the uh, pace has considerably slowed down here in the third. What's happening? Uh, it is because I the, mean, the second, rather. It is because the defense is now beginning to uh, tighten up for yes. both squads. And now uh, that uh, both teams are now beginning to feel the effect of the high-scoring game, uh, they believe that... Uh, there is no way that any one of them can win by just trading baskets. Yes. Again, of course, uh, you have to remember that these uh, young men that you see in your skis right now, they are human also. Uh-huh. They get tired like you and me. Yes. And it's, uh, this is uh, going to be a test of agility for both squads. Okay, Illustrissimo. Looking for a teammate, finds Kalipko. Kalipko. Having trouble... Tubio, no. Mm-hmm. One of the and weird times that we saw Tubio and, uh, taking that uh, shot from far out. An offensive foul is slapped on EAC, so ball will go back the way of uh, LaSalle. Meanwhile, De Quiroz will come back in and he will give Illustrissimo a rest. So let's hope that uh, De Quiroz is okay because uh, according to their coaches, though he has been playing hurt mm-hmm. in the last games. So uh, I guess, uh, you know, maybe he's just doing a good job of uh, concealing his injury. But uh-huh. then again, it's re- really different no? when you feel the pain on the floor. But, but then again, of course, you admire the heart of John Ray De Quiroz, no? uh, going beyond the call of duty. And so far, Anthony, Reyes has been playing extended minutes yes. for uh, La Salle. Coach uh, Tito sees no uh, reason to reinsert uh, James Puda, the usual starting center. Okay, Kalipko. And perhaps they can play together at the same time. Why not? Maybe. It's part of the chess game. Kalipko will uh, elude the defense. Yes! Yeah. A three-point shot a while ago. This time around, a medium-range jump shot for Kalipko. Okay, so are, productive in this game. We are tied at 42 all. Well, I know. I think it's safe to say they might reach 50 points each. Mm-hmm. Possibly. 
Okay, Moreno's to the corner. Montes, another yeah. success! That's the second in the game for Montes. Yes. Oh, no. they ruled that as a two-pointer. A long pointer. two, yeah. yeah. He had his toe on the uh, white line. But uh, this guy is hot as well, Calipco. I think yeah, they might uh, hit 50. So we got uh, four fours on your scoreboard. I think Anthony Calipco has scored the last seven points of uh, yes. Emilio Aguinaldo College. Okay, Arcangel pops out. Finds Montes, who is feeling it right now. Back to Arcangel. He wants a clear out. Up, oh, ball, batted out, but it's going to stay with LaSalle, but we have a foul on uh, a recent foul variety on Poshon Calipo. Oh, the second foul now on Poshon. So you can say, if you look at the names of these players, so it will give you an idea of how old they are. Well, of course, here in the uh, NCRA, our, our age limit is between 25. 18 to 25 years old. Yeah. So uh, just think about this. If, 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 let's say if the player was 25, max. Now, who were the uh, famous basketball players around 1998? So, uh, and then you notice a lot of them are, you know, a lot of parents who are maybe diehard basketball a fans, you know, named their sons after these uh, famous basketball players. <laughs> Especially of those uh, foreign variety, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, we, 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 uh, Heard the name Boshon. That's right. Of course, you got uh, lots of players here in the NCR. You got players named Kobe. I think before there was a Shaquille here. <laughs> okay, Bunda is in the game. He's from the uh, La Salle Junior Patriots. Meanwhile, Reyes. And it's traveling. Yes, very clear. Yeah, trying to force her, uh, his way to the basket was Reyes. But uh, you have uh, bigger players in front of him, like Tan and the Tubio. Okay, De Quiroz. Again, it's very nice huh, to have De Quiroz and Justissimo rotating at the point because it gives the team different looks. Oh, 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 oh. And uh, somebody falls in front of us. It's Morenos. Okay, De Quiroz, one. he will now perform the inbound to the corner. They get the baseline. And Adyao will uh, earn his points the hard way. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, I believe this is Yamado, who was part of the starting five. Yamado now will return. He was, again, part of the starting five, so more height now here for Coach Tito Reyes. Of course, uh, before handing the uh, Patriots, Tito Reyes making a name for himself in NCRAA by uh, being the uh, multi-title champion coach of the uh, La Salle Lady Patriots. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, for this season, uh, Coach Reyes switching roles with his uh, longtime assistant, Coach Andy Canlas. So now uh, it's Coach Canlas who is coaching the Lady Patriots, and it's now Coach Reyes who will be the assistant. So not much uh, adjustment, no? Yes, it's basically the same system. Meanwhile, a triple by La Salle, and uh, they grab the lead, 46-45. Coach Ashley Gulo will call a timeout. We'll be back with the balance of this first half. Stay with us, please. Welcome back to the ball game. Andy Servino with Ray Hobley at courtside of the Pablo R. Olivares Coliseum in Palanaque City. We've got a good one here. Very really entertaining. High scoring. Now, if, you, if you love scoring, if you love points, this is the game for you. Look at that. Our score, 49 to 45. 4.8 for LaSalle. And they can add to that as Bunda bubbles a bit. He will with his teammates. Fights Louis Montes. De Los Santos. Strong move. Oh. And he gets the foul. I love the effort of De Los Santos yes. in this game. 
uh, right from the get-go, you can sense that uh, there was some uh, sort of aggressiveness on his part to do his share, on uh, particularly in the offensive end. So at the line, De Los Santos, and if he makes this, we are, we'll be right in our uh, estimation earlier. Yes, the teams will hit 50. So now, LaSalle with 50, and uh, EAC not far behind. I think they can hit five points in the remaining uh, one minute and eight, and eight seconds. Or if possible, well, the two teams can combine for 100 points in the first half. Uh huh. That's possible. So, two for two for De Los Santos. 51 45, six point lead for LaSalle. Let's see now, EAC. Oh, oh ball tap. It's loose. It's won by LaSalle. Mm -hmm. It's with Reyes. Quickly now, Montes. Montes will wait for his teammates. And a whistle. Oh, stepping on the line is Liamado. That has been the tendency of shooters. Uh, we're trying to receive a pass. Yes. They're so eager to look at the basket. Not realizing that uh, they would be stepping from the sidelines. And you know what, Ray? Did you notice that some shooters have this uh, tendency to shuffle their feet? Maybe yeah. it's part of their way to you know get momentum yes. or what? All right. Montes will attack. They have the numbers. Montes! Oh, Success! Yeah, the, the veteran Montes is showing off in this game. That's right, 8-point lead now for the Patriots. Could be a last shot here for er Emilio Aguinaldo College. Yes, Illustrissimo! Oh, oh, no, no, no. It Too was eager there. Walk by the referee. That's yes. right. Yeah. Illustrissimo, the eager beaver there. Meanwhile, it will be the turn of Coach Tito Reyes to uh, map out the play for the final 15 seconds or so, and we'll be back. With that play, you are watching NCRA Season 29. Welcome back, basketball fans. Our game reset. 15.3 seconds on the clock. No more shot clock. Our score, 53-45. Eight-point lead for LaSalle. That's Malinas over EAC Cavite. Ante Sevigno with Ray Hoble. So, Coach Ray, Coach Tito Reyes, burning a timeout. And uh, he wants to make sure in this final possession. So, uh, Coach Tito Reyes electing to inbound from the backcourt, which means they're going to use the remaining seconds of this game to map up a play. Yes, it's down and to six they, seconds, they but they right. travel. So back-to-back -back errors. Yeah, back-to-back -back errors straight. by Yamado. Oh. So last shot here for EAC. Let's see if they can end the uh, first half on a positive note. Five seconds. Three seconds. Good defense. They have to shoot. Yeah. All right, so our score remains unchanged. It's 53 to 45 at the halftime break. Your Street and Ray Hoble will be back to uh, break down that first half after this commercial break. Stay with us for more of the National Capital Region Athletic Association 29th season.
And we're about to begin the second half of hostilities here at the uh, Olivares uh, Coliseum. But before that, let us uh, look at some quick numbers from that uh, first half, Ray. Oh, yeah, Ooh. and then look at the field goal percentage of uh, La Salas. 18 out of 31, that's 58%. It went down, but it's still high. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College isn't shooting bad, the 48%. Yes, actually, that's a good clip. And uh, three-point shooting, La Salle, 42%, as against 25 for uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. And, uh, points inside the paint, uh, curiously, uh, La Salle, which is a sm uh, smaller players, uh, 22 compared to 18 for uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. And then points for turnovers. This is where La Salle got uh, most of the numbers, 11, uh -huh. compared to 3 for uh, Emilio Aguinaldo. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, while you were uh, discussing the numbers, right? the Uplo and Pesagas trading baskets. Mm -hmm. So again, the high scoring pace continues. By the way, uh, do we have our leading scorers? Yeah, we have uh, Illustrissimo and, uh, and uh, Calagos with 10 apiece, uh, pacing both squads. Well, the thing about Calagos, Ray, uh, he scored all those 10 points in the uh, first quarter, as we see, a 24-second uh, shot clock violation. Now, he scored all those 10 points in the first quarter, and he did not score from there, from yeah, there on. Yeah, but uh, guys like Paul, Paul De Los Santos mm -hmm. and uh, Louis Morales, Montes. also uh, Louis uh, Montes, also step up for them, and then... Uh, 10 points as, as well scored by Besagas. So uh, it's been uh, quite a contribution uh, made by uh, the teammates of uh, Calagos. You know that uh, name you mentioned, she's actually our colleague from uh -huh. the Philippine Star. Uh -huh. And hopefully, you know, I'll, I invite all the uh, sports media to cover the NCRA. It's a fun league to cover. And uh, Boshon Calipco also scored 9 in uh, the first half and 7 points from Adiao. So again, uh, you can say that there's no let-ups again in the uh, scoring pace. Actually, you know, very sometimes when I look at the scoreboard, I think it's the third quarter already because, you know, we're, we're used to s uh, slow, grind-out defensive games. But then again, uh, having this high-scoring game is a welcome development, a very refreshing development. Uh, of course, this is for our fans who, have, who love scoring. So uh, now, uh, again, uh, the uh, points continue to flow in. And now it's with EAC. Strong drive, no. And ball tap, it's won by uh, oh. Montes. And it was he was clipped by uh, Illustrissimo. Yes. <laughs> then we were uh, talking about uh, this guy, Puda. It's uh, take uh, so much beater in uh, the first half with uh, Reyes uh, playing extended minutes. I see, it's nice to see that Puda is fresh. Oh, a traveling. But he'll travel. Uh, On uh, De Los Santos. A Marco Polo move. Hmm? Yes. Of course, uh, Marco Polo is the more famous one. Uh, <laughs> there have been more, le there's also a good share of legendary travelers who have uh, traveled the world, especially in ancient times. Of course. And we'll talk about that if you have time. Of course, I told you, you know, if you're going to watch the NCRA broadcast, you'll not just learn about basketball. You might pick up a thing or two from uh, your student, Ray Hoble. So aggressive there was the attack of... Uh Oh, look at that. And they're really making life tough for Sean Besagas. Because they know that Besagas is heating up. And look at that. Uh, two big bodies ganging up on Besagas. So it was Bungu Bungu who was able to hit that basket a while ago for em Emilio Aguinaldo College. Okay, chance here now for LaSalle. Baseline, kick out. Montes with the shuffle to Puda. Uh, no. Yeah, De, Los Santos. De Los Santos. Still no. Puda. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. Extraordinary second chance opportunity for La Salle. But normally it has been uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College who's been dominating the boards. But this time around it was uh, La Salle winning the battle. 
you know, very one biometric that they, I forgot to mention that they usually check uh, when, like, during tryouts, the player's second jump. Uh-huh. No, sometimes, and this is a rare case, a player's second jump is taller than their first jump. Or higher, rather. Yeah, that's a proper adjective, higher. Actually, uh, one, uh, one legend that is known for this uh, good second jump is Philip Cesar. Oh, of course. Oh. We remember Coach Philip Cesar, the longtime coach of the Philippines, the Philippine uh, School of Business, School of Business Administration, Administration yeah. Quezon City in the NCRAA. Yeah. And, and uh, of course, we hope to see our friends from PSB again very soon, maybe yeah. as early as next season. Probably Vic Manuel. Yes, uh, right. They, they, he will unearth the next Vic Manuel or the next Mark Pingris. <laughs> of course, uh, outstanding NCRAA products. Oh, look at the second. Look at the... Uh, the extra passes being given, but that time around, extra aggressive. Uh, you can see a case of overpassing for LaSalle mm -hmm. blows in their face. And we have to give credit to the defense of uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College as well. Okay, Tubio. And Bungobong. Oh, oh, nice wow. spin move! Excellent uh, upper body strength shown there by Bungubong. Oh! Oh! Public display projection! That, there was a lot of contact out there, but it was uh, let go by the officials. And uh, Kalagos with the miss. His total stays at 10 points. Foul on a uh, Patriot. Tubia receives. And he will wait for a guard. Okay, it's Mesultai. It says shirt play. Okay, what is the shirt play? Mesultai uh, motioning for clear out. Tubio popping out. Oh, well read by the defense. All right. LaSalle now on the run. Puta! Oh, wow. And that's, and that's the good thing of having a trailer. Yes. When you have a fast break opportunity. Because you can, you, you can never be sure. Uda was responsible for that, picking up a Kalagos miss. Actually, I have a feeling that Kalagos uh, made a pass instead of uh, taking a shot in that uh, play. Of course, it will depend now on the appreciation of our uh, head statistician, Shem Mangon, on how yeah. he will record that. Oh, be because Kalagos saw the bigger tubio on front of him. Okay, EAC wants the points back. No. Oh, what a foul. On the rebound, and it's going to go the way of LaSalle. Looks like it's going to be uh, called on Fan. Daublo. Oh, the oh the check that the first one, Daublo. Yeah. And now Coach Tito Reyes will call a timeout, and we'll be back for more of your NCRA Season 29. Stay there, please. And hello again, basketball fans. You're just in time to join us. We got it's over just under uh, five minutes left in the uh, third quarter. Our score 62 53. LaSalle enjoying everything so far over uh, Emilio Guindado College. But of course, uh, we still got a long way to go. This game is far from decided. So I hope you join us until the final buzzer because you might miss something, Ray. And you might regret it for the rest of your life. <laughs> yeah. And so far, so good for LaSalle. Who's been playing, uh, which is playing, it's uh, probably its best game of uh, the season so far. Yes, and again, uh, as you praise Louis Montes, he misses the free throw. <laughs> yeah, save for that charity shot. It always works. Year in, year out. So spit at the line for Montes. So well was LaSalle. So good was uh, the, uh, the performance of LaSalle that uh, they were able to build a 10-point lead now. Yes, a rare uh, 10 point lead. Oh, oh what a block! Volleyball wow. block! Was that 
by Monta de los Santos. Yes. And speaking of volleyball, Ray, we'd like to remind all our viewers that coming very soon is the volleyball tournament uh -huh. of NCR Season 29 for both men and women. Oh. That should be a good one. You know, when you say volleyball uh, and you see La Saldas Malinas, the first person that comes to your mind is our national player, Al Naklan Abdila, uh -huh. who was a uh, NCRA standout for La Saldas Malinas, of course, made it to the national team. So again, that's the evidence, Ray. Even if you, you know, you, you, when you play the NCRA, you also have a chance to make the national team. And, uh, if you're good. Montes was unable to complete that steal as he was uh, called for a foul. And of course, Ray, when you stick to, uh, when you stick to basketball, though, we also know that there are several NCRA uh, standouts though, who earned slots in the national team while playing for their NCRA schools. Yeah, uh, definitely. And uh, Anita Grajales from uh, Lyceum. That's one, yeah, of course, is, in the uh, women's division. Women's division uh, so he's one of those players. And also in the men's division, you have the likes of course, those uh, well, giants of St. Francis, yeah. Yeah, the Del Campo brothers, Irvin Soto. Yeah. Of course, from PSB, you got the likes of uh, Jean Mark Pinglis, MC Caceres. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're talking about the youth level, uh, the 18 and under level. Oh, oh steal! Oh, and he loses it. He has to wait for his teammates. And what, we have a... Uh, Buzzer? Okay, no, referee no, says that, play that, on. That was inadvertent. That's right, referee says play on. So, uh, LaSalle, no, and the rebound here by Tan. Look at Tan dribble the ball. Oh, and losing See? the ball. <laughs> oh, Bisaka! Bisaka. Wow. Yes! Wow! <laughs> Wrapping it around was Besagas and completing it. That's right, playground what? move yeah. by Besagas, and because of that, Coach Ashley Guru will call a timeout, and we'll be back for more for NCRA Season 29. Okay, back to the live action. 14 point lead after that playground shot by Besagas. And that should, that should surely energize uh, La Salle and its fans. Yeah. And uh, now it's a 14 point lead here by uh, La Salle. Oh, strong move by Tubio. Oh. Too strong. And, and uh, uh, looks, oh, uh, foul. Yeah, clearly. Tubio winding off. Uh, Widing up before getting that rebound, so he was uh, called for a loose ball foul. Actually, you know what? La Salle right now, 0-2. All it takes is just one win. And uh -huh. for sure, you know, again, once these teams get the winning feeling, it will be hard to stop. Yeah. And uh, so far, so good uh, for La Salle. Now with Puda, this time around, completing wow. that uh, two-man game between him and uh, Calagos. Okay, after this game, we will have another team that will, in search of its first win, it's the uh, Saint Oh, a sportsman like foul, meanwhile called. De Queiroz. Okay. Against Tubio. De Queiroz was trying to get the R of uh, Calagos, but Calagos was wise enough yes. to play with his head. That's right, because basketball is not just a physical game, it's also a mental game. Yeah. And uh, coaches would tell you that uh, don't lose your head. You might use your hand, but don't lose your head. Right. Of course, after this game, uh, another team I said earlier, uh, in search of their first win, the St. Dominic College of Asia Pikemen uh -huh. will be uh, taking on the Philippine Merchant Marine School Mariners. Yeah. And that should be a good one uh, after, immediately after this game. Another school from Cavite. Uh, they will face a school that is near Cavite. Yeah, and, in Las Piñas, uh, bordering like... Cavite, of course. And uh, we would like to greet our friends there from uh, 
from uh, St. Dominic, uh, Miss Ma- right. Mary Grace from uh, oh, yes. St. Dominic, and uh, our good friend, uh, Coach Peter Paul Segundo, is uh, coaching it. Actually, do you remember the last time St. Dominic played? I guess it has been, what, more than two weeks, I uh, think? Probably. Yeah. Since they last saw action, but then again, of course, they will uh, immediately catch up in the schedule. Uh-huh. And a uh, shot clock violation, but... Oh, but that's going to be a foul. Oh, wow. A bailout foul. Yeah. A lucky break for LaSalle. Yeah. No, ju- simultaneous with the uh, shot lock expiring, we have a foul assessed to EAC. And, and the foul should be upheld. You cannot reverse it, but when there is a foul call. Yes. Oh. But, but then again, the foul was called right after the buzzer sounded. Okay. So it's going to be... The ball for Emilio Aguinaldo College. But still, an imposing uh, 18-point lead yeah. for La Salle. But then again, oh, it's, still not, it's still early. We still have the fourth quarter ahead of us. And this time, an offensive foul on the vanguard. And looks like uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College in frustration. It's giving up a lot of fouls at this time. Okay, chance here for LaSalle to pad their lead. Coach Ashley is so animated on the sidelines. So uh, just to uh, make it clear, in the three games of, uh, em- of uh, EAC, Coach Gulo, was, he only coached once, and that's in their win against Lyceum. In the other games, uh, it, it, it was his assistants who handled the team, and they lost. So uh, short of saying that he is still perfect, <laughs> yes, that's right. Actually, yes, EAC is indeed, they are 1-0. and oh. They are perfect with, when Coach Ashley Gulo is handling the team. All right, Ustrisimo. Let's see if that record will stay. And, uh, but they have a lot of catching up to oh, do definitely. here, Anthony. But like what I said, no, this is just the third quarter. Oh, uh, another e- error forced against uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. That's right. No, I'm stressing this is the third quarter because if you look at the score right now, 71-53, usually that's the final score uh-huh. in, in the, in the, on average in the NCAA. But uh, there's no doubt that La Salas raised its game above oh, level. Definitely. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, that's a foul, obviously. That's a foul. Uh, yeah, he the, hit the man. He hit the man, but there is there's indeed a contact. But uh, you have to admire the effort shown by De Los Santos. Yes. Especially when he went airborne. And remember, uh, La Salle, despite being ahead by what, 18 points? They still continue to uh, play with intensity. <laughs> okay, Calipco does not have their cause with that miss. So he has to make this now more than ever. Shall we wait for Boshan Kalipko? So far, so good for, uh, for uh, La Salle. Yeah, two misses here for Kalipko. And uh, that's big. Besagas now. Oh, Besagas! Finding Montes. Okay, Rogelio Calagos using the screen. Calagos losing it. Puda picks it up. Puda? No. Oh, oh Calagos. Block. Oh, he was blocked in that play. Calipco, good presence of mind. Uh, they have the numbers there on transition. So they were able to complete that. First pass in there by Avila. Jumper, good line. No good. Here's a chance for EAC to string some points. Time get for some momentum. Two more plays here. Yes. Kick out. All day to fire. No. Track one by LaSalle. And they're, they're going to uh, use the clock oh, yes. to map up the last play. No more shot clock. We've got 10 seconds on the game clock. Calagos using the high double screen. Montes. No. Montes looking for a foul, and this will not count, even if it went in. So, at the end of three quarters, our score reads 71-55, 16-point lead for La Salle over their neighbors, EAC Cavite. We'll be back with the deciding fourth quarter. You wouldn't want to miss that. You're watching NCRA Season 29.
back to the uh, ball game. You're just in time to join us for the fourth quarter of this very entertaining. Uh, yes, Ray, I think very entertaining is an understatement. Yeah, but uh, don't be surprised uh, if uh, Lasal is now leading by 16 points. Yes, indeed, and now padding its lead to 19 with a three point shot. Wow, he said 16. No, it's 19. Uh-huh. <laughs> is this the biggest lead now, Ray? Yes, it is. Oh, wow. What a time to come. And another steal by Puda. Will Puda duck? No, yeah. he will save his energy for the layup. Yeah, it's uh, two points just the same for Puda. That's right. A while ago, it was Trinidad with a three-point shot. And now Puda with the transition. So a quick 5-0 run here for Lasal. Wow, what a way to open hostilities. Lead now is up to 21. Let's see how will EAC respond. And uh, Lasal's defense is so relentless. Challenging every attempt. Okay, Puda with the rebound. Gives it to Calagos. Calagos wisely slowing it down. So another thing about Calagos, Ray, he has stayed away from his third foul. Oh, oh, oh look at that. Look at that play. De Los Santos coming out of nowhere to grab that rebound. And now he's, well, it was called for a... And then uh, a foul was whistled from uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. So De Los Santos' effort and rebounding was rewarded. You know what? I think De Los Santos, he is doing a lot of things. Yeah. Okay, that is not reflected in the stats report. Yeah, that, that's, that's uh, the intangibles being yes. uh, brought in by De Los Santos. The energy being displayed, the deflections, right, and uh, the way he challenged. And just being there. Yeah, the way he challenged uh, the opponents. So uh, he's uh, he's making his presence felt uh, in this game. And you can see, you know, uh, you know, the little things like talking to your teammates, mm-hmm. you know, assuring them, or giving a pat on the behind. Trinidad, oh! Yeah. Two three-point shots in this quarter for, for Trinidad. And now, LaSalle really means business. And we have a timeout. We'll be back. You are watching NCRA Season 29. And welcome back. Of course, if you're just joining us, believe it or not, we still have 8 minutes and 39 seconds left in this game. And that's the score. Yep, 79.55. Because usually, Ray, this is the final score in, uh, in, uh, in typical NCR games. But LaSalle is playing its best basketball this season. Right. And so far, so good. Building a 24-point lead. I don't know. They are well on pace to hit 100. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we see, Besagas... Completing it with another transition basket. Well, right now, of course, the uh, Maxim, love thy neighbor, is not holding in this game. No, no, no neighbor love uh, being displayed here. Yes, no neighborly love at the moment. But meanwhile, we have a a final response, huh? A response from uh, EAC. But the response came in uh, stretches. But uh, they need to do it consistently. Besagas. Uh, this, big, guy, this guy has been a key contributor as that's well. That's right. In Besagas. the search of uh, De La Salle de Smarinas. And then there's, uh, there, there, there's also this man coming up the bench, Trinidad, who responded by scoring two three-point shots here. So, so, so far... Calago started things out by scoring 10 in the first period yes. alone, but he's been uh, getting a little help from his friends. And of course, again, no, we, we will mention the intangibles, so g- the work of uh, the body of work of uh, players like uh, De Los Santos, yeah. Puda. Yeah, and Puda, just like uh, De Los Santos, is uh, doing a lot of things as well. And even uh, to some extent, Reyes. Mm-hmm. Holding his own against the. Uh, the veteran uh, big man of uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. And then look at the defense of the That's Lasal. right. And uh, 
For a while, I thought uh, Barruelo traveled, but uh, there was a foul call on La Salle. It is a very industrious is La Salle right now. <laughs> you know what? Words like industrious, maybe uh, studious. Uh. Okay, baseline inbound, and Illustrissimo, they're doing a good job of denying the ball yeah, to Illustrissimo. And look at that, it was again De Los Santos who made things happen for uh, yes. La Salle by uh, deflecting the pass. And remember, that is not recorded in the stats. Yeah. Meanwhile, oh, oh they save it in time. And Illustrissimo, yes. Still a 23 point lead for the Patriots. Trinidad. And Trinidad will lose it. Ball will stay with LaSalle. At this time, Anthony, what LaSalle should do is uh, to uh, chew some time off uh, so that uh, they, they'll be able to preserve that lead. As we see, De Los Santos. His shot was rejected in that play. Meanwhile, all alone for the two. May, who knows, that could be the start of the rally of EAC. Yeah, two quick baskets there for Emilio Aguinaldo College. Cutting the lead to 21. Still an insurmountable lead. And now uh, La Salle is uh, slowly chewing, chewing up some time here. Until that breakdown in defense resulting to a basket by uh, Calagos. Ray, is that the uh, first shot of Calagos since the first quarter? I think so. Okay. I think so. He's uh, more concentrated on facilitating the yes. offense for And again, no credit to Rogelio Calagos for staying away from his third foul. Yeah, and uh, so valuable it was Calagos that outside of his scoring, he will be able to contribute for his team. Baseline inbound. And they feed it inside. But look at that. Look at the battle there won by Puda. Yeah, Puda. It was, uh, it was the defense of Puda which uh, bothered uh, Baruelo. But unfortunately, in that play, uh, Puda and uh, Montes had uh, some sort of miscommunication. Okay, Tubio will return. So by this time, uh, we should see uh, both coaches preparing their finishing fives. Illustrissimo will uh, find Tubio. And uh, again, again here, EAC race showing signs of life. All is not yet lost for the vanguard. Of course. They don't have to look at the deficit now. They just have to make a one big stop and a basket after another. But now, Calagos taking his sweet time, asking for a clear out. And he will now attack. Jumper! Mm -hmm. No. So still 12 points for Calagos. And here comes another transition there. Illustrissimo. And a nice <laughs> fight there. Resultai with a basket. That's right. Very unselfish play there by Illustrissimo. He, he did not force the issue. He found the more open teammate Resultai. Producing results. Okay, Trinidad. Montes whips it inside to the cutter de los Santos. No. Ball tap, won by Montes. Almost stepped out of bounds. And look at the effort being yes. shown by Nassal. Oh, and again, a bailout foul called on uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College. Just was the, the shot clock was about to expire. Uh, are the teams in the penalty right now, Ray? Not yeah, but, yet. Not yet, but... Uh, but uh, Still, it was a big break for yes. uh, LaSalle. So, because first 14 for LaSalle. Yes. Okay, De Los Santos. Trinidad. But, but again, Anthony, that uh, extra Calabas, effort by LaSalle to retrieve the ball made things possible for that. Trinidad, three-pointer, no. And the box out battle. Oh, it's won by uh, Del. De Los Santos and De Los Santos is blocked but ball will stay with LaSalle then, with 11 on the shot clock. You see that uh, with De Los Santos? Just when Emilio Aguinaldo College was about to get that ball possession, De Los Santos was able to track it down. So again, now this is the stuff, Ray, that you do not see in our stats report. You know, it's the stuff that you see when you watch it live. So again, I invite all our fans to watch the games live at the venues because there's nothing better than watching live. You can, you can really feel the action. 
And, uh, and as we speak, Anthony, there's a technical foul called on uh, oh. Emilio Aguinaldo College. And with uh, Trinidad missing that uh, technical foul shot. Well, then, hopefully, Ray, of course, you know, it, it's a special skill for, for coaches. They know when to get themselves uh, intentionally uh, teed up, as they say. Oh, as we see. Another one, uh, an unsportsmanlike foul on... On Illustrissimo, I think. Uh oh, I think frustration now is settling in on uh, yeah. EAC. You know, this is a uh, cause of concern. Because they felt they're not getting the breaks of the call and they're uh, trying to catch up with the big lead. Oh. Okay, so uh, a, a double, double unsportsmanlike like foul. Uns a double unsportsmanlike foul. And of course, that is also a personal foul, so that means. Uh, that is the final foul, the fifth and final foul of Illustrissimo. So a big loss as uh, he will not play the final 4 minutes and 48 seconds. We'll see him in their next game. So it's, that's a wrap already for J.R. Illustrissimo. Again. So big blow to the cause of EAC. Once again, LaSalle playing with their head, not getting their emotions, uh, getting the better out yes. of them. Yes. So again, uh, for Coach Asigulo, he must settle down these players. Uh, remember, you know, it's 4.48 left. It's still possible. Yeah, mathematically possible, although it's highly improbable. Yeah. But uh, still, this is basketball. A lot of things could happen. Who knows? So perhaps that uh, technical will fire up the vanguard. And also, you know, with the disqualification Referees. of uh, Illustrissimo, it will also fire them, you know, inspire them to play better. Referees are still conferring whether uh, there's going to be extra free throws going to be given for both squads. Because remember, uh, there was a double, yes, uh, double unsportsmanlike foul called on, on uh, De Los Santos and Illustrissimo. Yes, and of course that was the fifth personal foul on JR, so that means uh, we will see him in their next game. So they cancelled out uh, yes. the free throws and ball possession for Lasal. Meanwhile, Calagos whips it inside, and it's bothered by the defense, but shot Montes clock is running, and yes. Montes able to beat that shot clock. Hey, wow. Mon hey Ray, uh, Montes making a case for best player. Yes, it is. So, so many candidates huh, for best player. Very hard to choose. Meanwhile, Tubio, oh, stolen! And look at that, Calagos! No, oh, no, missing the layup. Door still open for EAC. All they have to do is knock and enter. And that's a miss. So and now LaSalle will painfully slow it down, of course, if you're a fan of uh, EAC. Of course, uh, if you're a fan of LaSalle, you should be happy with the way the Patriots are playing today. Of course, Patriots in search of their first win in Season 29. They are 0-2. And of course, Ray, they want to avoid, on the part of LaSalle, they want to avoid falling to 0-3. Yes. Because uh, I remember our discussion uh, some game days ago, uh, I, I think last week, I asked you, remember, I asked you the question, you know, how many uh, wins uh, is it uh, needed to assure yourself of a spot in the uh, top eight? Well, six wins would uh, yes. at least guarantee you. But uh, if you are uh, vying for uh, twice to beat, mm -hmm. I think nine games would be... Uh, uh, would uh, uh, give you a uh, twice to beat incentive. So, it, having said that, though, since you're, if, if you will go six and five, if ever, if you go six and five, because yeah. you play 11, eights, 11 games each, if you go 0 and 3, uh -huh. it'll be really tough because uh, that, yes. that might uh, constrain you to sweep mm -hmm. your remaining eight games. Yes, uh, definitely, Anthony. And I guess that holds the same for our team later on, the St. Dominic uh, Pikemen. They will be playing the, uh, the very hot PMMS Mariners. So uh, stay with us for that game right after this one. Anthony, at this time, five players in double wow. figures for LaSalle. Led by Sean Besagas with 19 points. Okay. So uh, 21 still is the lead for LaSalle. And Calagos doing the wise thing of slowing things down and burning the clock more to their advantage. So 
So uh, after this game, we'll be selecting our best player. Just, and then your uh, guess is as good as mine. Again, uh, we will ask, we will implore the help of our fans, Ray. If you have any nominees, please put them in the comments box. But uh, again, Anthony, in choosing the best players, we're not choosing just because they are the top scorers of yes. the team. But uh, what are the things they've been doing exactly. so far for their team? And we have somebody in mind right now who's been practical, practically doing a lot of things for his team. That's right. He's done everything, He's including done. Uh, carrying the water jug. <laughs> yes, that's right. I saw some of the players not carrying the water jug. Yeah, and, uh, they've the, uh, been doing the that. Balls. I mean, even even in the international competition. It's the, part of the discipline, actually. Yeah, the Japan basketball team was uh, uh, em uh, employing the clay go. Yes, clean, clean as you go. And clean as you go. Uh, when you visit the locker room, it's just really clean. That they, they, you don't need the utilities out there to clean the area. Uh, well, just take a look at... Uh, uh, let's not go far. And uh, we'll hold that thought after this uh, timeout. And we'll be back for more of your NCRA Season 29. Well, sir, I was about to say earlier, no? I mean, in, in all the schools that we visit here in the NCRA, you know, I always eat in the school canteen. Uh -huh. and, and, and it's, a co it's like a common practice now in all school canteens that for the students or anybody who eats in the uh, canteen to, uh, you know, clean up. Mm -hmm. You know, put your plates in a certain area well, for washing. Well, even, yeah. e even in Starbucks <laughs> coffee, they're now employing that, that uh, clean-as-you-go uh, attitude. Yes. And right now, you can say LaSalle is really cleaning house. <laughs> As we are in a two-minute warning, it's winning time in the NCRA Season 29. And uh, from, you can see by the body language of EAC, uh, they are just uh, yeah. going through the motions of finishing this game. Right? It's going to be a very, uh, you can say, a very sad school bus going yeah. back to Desmarina City. Of course, earlier, their uh, Lady Vanguard losing to the best link, Lady Kalasag. And it's going to be a long ride home. Going to North Kalookan, Anthony. Well, yeah, for uh, of course for best league, uh, it will be a happy ride uh -huh. since they won their first game. But uh, Emilio Aguinaldo College, on the other hand, is uh, going to have a quiet moment. Well, it depends where they will pass. Of course, there's, there are many ways to get to Cavite, to uh, Desmarinas from here. Meanwhile, uh, we have a timeout call, and we'll talk more about our uh, travel plans after this break. Stay with us for more of your NCRA Season 29. All right, back to live action with a minute and four seconds left. And uh, we're just waiting for confirmation of the final score. Again, uh, to our fans, uh, please help us. We are in a quandary right now, your student, Ray Hoble. Please help us by nominating a best player. <laughs> we, we beg of you. Uh, we have five players in double figures for Lasan. Yes. But, but although we have one in mind, probably yeah, you know, you might sway it in favor of your favorite. <laughs> Again, this is democracy. We want the, uh, the fans to be heard. And since you just screens there, the, uh, those uh, gentlemen in red, that's the St. Dominic Pikemen. They will be in action again after a long time. It's a case of long time no see, my friend. And this guy, Reyes, has been, uh, has been playing uh, quality minutes. Yes, uh, he's also a candidate. He could be a winner. Who knows? <laughs> So, uh, 
There's a 10 second differential between game clock and the shot clock. Probably last possession here for LaSalle. Uh, depending, of course, on how soon they shoot. They'll probably shoot uh, with the shot clock winding down and Calagos are doing the right thing. How old do you think Reyes is? Oh, he looks like a young man. Yeah. Uh, probably at, at the most, maybe a, a year out of a senior high school. So, uh, okay, Lasal so, opting not to shoot the basketball that's as, right. a, as a sign of sportsmanship. Yeah, Coach Gulo motioning to his players to do the same. Just uh, put the ball in play and let the final seven seconds run. But no, Nicky lost. No, and uh, there's oh, an extra rebound there for Vesaga. So, uh, that's the bell or the horn. Our final score, 88 to 72. A 16 point win. The first win of the season for the De La Salle, the Smarillas Patriots, and we'll wrap this game up. With our best player after this break, stay with us. You are watching NCRAA Season 29. Congratulations to our winners, the De La Salle Marinas University, the De La Salle Marinas Patriots, of course, winners over their next door neighbors, Emilio Aguinaldo College Cavite. And we are here with our best player, no other than number six of the Patriots, Paul De Los Santos. Paul, of course, entering this game, two straight losses for La Salle. So, what was your mindset? Ano yung nasa utak nyo? Uh, siguro po, uh, uh, willing kami na mag bounce back. Uh, ready po kami sa paparting lagi na game. Uh, we nal prepared po kami ng coach namin every single day. Uh, sobrang thank you kay Lord kasi binigay namin yung best namin para manalo sa laban na to. Ray? Uh, partner, you have 12 points, 11 rebounds, and then 6 steals. And practically doing a lot of things outside of the stat sheet. No? Paano yung motivation na ginagawa mo sa sarili mo in raising your game to another level? Uh, kami po... Uh, Sa lahat naman po at hindi lang po ako sarili ko pero sa in individual po uh, go hard lang po and 100% sabi ng coach namin uh, siguro po uh, malaking factor sa amin yung lag pineprepare po kami every day at uh, sa paparating po namin na laro yun po Paul of course finally again the first win of La Salle definitely not the last this is your chance no? magpasalamat ka sa lahat ng subusuport at nagmamahal sa'yo uh, thank you po sa Coaching sa coach namin, sa PT namin na lagi nakasubaybay. Uh, thank you rin po sa na sumusuporta sa amin at uh, pwede pong bumat. Bati oh. ko lang po yung family ko, daddy ko, mami ko, kapatid ko, uh, sa lola ko, yun lang po. Uh, maraming salamat po. Of course, one more thing, Paul. Paki-invite naman yung uh, Lasallian community to support you sa next game. Uh, sana po sa community na supportan po kami sa upcoming games namin. At sana po, pag-pray nyo po kami na manalo mo kami sa succeeding games. Yun lang po. There you have it, our best player. Congratulations again, Paul De Los Santos and the De La Salle University uh, Patriots. Of course, we'll be back with one more game for sure. Paul, is a scout mo to kasi makakalawa uh, ko It's the St. Dominic College of Asia Pikemen against the rampaging Philippine Merchant Marine School Mariners. We'll bring that game to you in its entirety after this commercial break. Stay with us for more action here in NCRA Season 29. Sir, salamat po.